اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو پرائم ایورا پروجیکٹ پلینر سکس ٹیوٹوریل آئی ایم محمد قاسم شنواری ٹو گائیڈ یو اپاوٹ پرائم ایورا ان دس ویڈیو ٹیوٹوریل وی ویل لرن ہاو ٹو ڈیفائن کلینڈرز اینڈ ہاو ٹو ڈیفائن دی نون ورکنگ پیریڈز and then we will apply it on all the activities that we have added in the previous video tutorials so let's start to define a calendar go to data and click on calendars calendar uh, dialog box appeared as displayed so here uh, you should know that we have a global calendar any changes we will make in global calendar will be reflected in all the calendars that we will make at any other time so it is a global calendar and uh, uh, other calendars are known as local calendars so it means that global calendar has effect on local calendar but local calendar has no effect on global calendar you can see that even in global calendar the uh, Sunday is also not marked as a non-working day but it is also counted as a working day but in local calendar it is then marked as working non-working day so uh, let me uh, make some kinds of uh, non-working days in global calendar which are repeated every year so click on global calendar go to holidays here the uh, first non-working period that we will add is 14th august is 14th august 2008 click on ok and as it will be repeated each year so check the repeating checkbox another holiday or non working day you can say is 25th december 25th december these are used to change the years while these two are used to change the months 25th december okay it will also be repeated each year so click on repeating i mean marked it as check next non working day is 6th september 6th september sixth september it will also be observed each year so check the repeating checkbox so these are the uh, non working periods we have defined in global calendar all these will now be reflected in the local calendars you can see that 14th august although i have marked it as non working day in global calendar but it has reflected in local calendar so let me change the name of the one first calendar as 6 days a week here you can change the non working day for example i want uh, to make friday as the non working day so uncheck the friday and check the sunday but in this case we have sunday as the non working day or holiday click on okay now add another calendar let the calendar id is 2 and its title will be 7 days a week click on okay okay in 7 days a week we will have no holiday you can see no holiday even sunday will be counted as the working day 
let me define some of the non working days in six days a week calendar so click on six days a week go to holidays and click on the add icon so the first holiday will be Eid al Fitr holidays from 3rd October 2008 to 6th October 2008 from 3rd October 2008 to 6th October 2008 and it will not be repeated as the Eid holidays changes every year now let me define the Eid al Azha holidays which will be from 14th December 14th December 2008 and it will end on 18th of December 2008 and it will be known as the Hajj and Eid al Azha holidays it will also be not repeated because every year these are changed so let me define other holidays one of is 5th February which is observed as solidary day with Kashmiri brethren Fifth February two thousand eight. Okay, and it will be repeated each year. More holidays you can add which depend on your project, but in this specific case we have holidays. Uh, non working periods from 7th February to 21st February from 7th February 2009 and these holidays will end at 21st February 2009 and they will also be not repeated click on ok ok so we have defined the holidays in six days a week in seven days a week you remember that we have marked as 14th August 25th December and 6th September as holidays in global calendar but in seven days a week we have no kind of holiday or non working day so let me remove the non working days first is 14th of august so change it into working day 6th of september it's i am changing in 2007 so it's uh, not it will not work let me change it in 2008 it will be working day September 2008 working and also 25th December working in 2009 14th August change it into working day 6 September change it into working day and 25th of December change it into working day our project will end uh, in February 2010 so no need to go forward click on close now we have to apply this calendar on the activities one of the easiest methods of applying the calendars of the act on the activities is just to press Control A on your keyboard while one of the activity is highlighted. I am pressing Control A. So all of the activities are selected. 
go to activity form and here mark six days a week calendar that is calendar one click on ok but there are certain activities in which we have no holiday for example covering in which we have no kind of holiday so it its calendar will be seven days a week okay similarly covering of second floor here we have no holiday so its calendar will be second calendar hide the activity form and go to schedule schedule now ok view on screen ok ok you can see that our project will end on 19th may 2011 if there is a little bit difference in uh, your uh, project date project ending date and my this tutorial date so you should not worry because there are there might be difference of uh, one or two months although it should not be there but as I am preparing this project so I have altered this many times but when you will prepare it uh, continuously so you will have no problem inshallah so don't worry about the calculated date just make your concept that we have to bring it back to 28th February 2010 by certain by starting certain activities at a single time which are possibly be to be started in coming tutorials you will know about this how to start so in this video tutorial we learned how to define the calendars and how to define the non-working periods as well as we have applied these calendars and non-working periods to the activities and this is the end of the sixth tutorial see you in next tutorial allah hafiz